mentioned earlier in regards to the injury history is this uh, is this component of of arm deceleration? So arm deceleration and early pronation. All right. So I'll give you a little bit of context. There's, there's going to be more context in the report as well. Um, bicep problems. All right. So usually when I see bicep problems, it's a combination of of the pronation aspect in the throw. A lot of infielders will deal with this due to you know arm angles and and not really putting the emphasis on the finish. But if you were to supinate like this and you were to flex your bicep. Okay. And now as you pronate, you'll feel that the bicep muscle itself just disengages. So what happens is when we throw and we don't pronate at the timing in which we should, which is relatively early in the throw, then that bicep is going to contract for a longer period of time. And it's going to take on more stress and more load than it needs to. And that's what I can see kind of in this video here, as he comes into his throw, boom, and he flicks and he kind of like a, flicks his wrist, but he doesn't really get that pronation that we want um, as you go into a throw. And then it's restricted in terms of the arm deceleration. So a huge piece to like breaking through the barriers of, of, of velocity is understanding this dynamic of your arm can only accelerate as fast as it can decelerate. So if the, I mean, the brain's smart, all right. So if the brain comprehends this kind of disconnect of a mechanical breakdown for arm deceleration or early pronation, and it knows that it's going to lead into a potential injury, then it's not going to, it's not going to then allow the arm to accelerate as fast as it needs to. So here's uh, Tatis. Notice the 90, 90. I'm a, I'm a kind of a, a proponent of what the glove side does. The throwing arm does what the throwing arm does. The glove side does, they should match equal opposite. Now, as he comes through, Notice that as he releases this ball, the pronation, right? So you see how his, his hand actually turns over and then the shoulder internally rotates. So you go from taking all this stress on the bicep and, uh, and, 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 the, and the shoulder, and now you, you take all of that to the back uh, shoulder blade, uh, the lat, and then he bends his arm, which gives his arm more time to decelerate. And then with, with, with Wyatt here, kind of, again, that pushy mentality leads with the elbow elevates here, and then just kind of cuts his throw off with a, with a straight arm. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched. If you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys. Much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.